Hi, this is Greg Haig, CEO of 72 Sold. And if you're thinking about selling your home, I want you to know that how it's marketed, how it's shown, and how the negotiation goes with the buyer can make a huge difference in your sale price. Do not ever believe that a home will sell for what it will sell for because an agent, the way your home is handled can make a big difference in your ultimate sale price. So 72 sold is a ground up reinvention of the traditional way to sell homes. And one of the things we recognized is that the world is so different today than it was 20, 30, 40 years ago when the basic methodology that agents are using now to sell homes was developed. You see, one of the big differences is back then, buyers were hard to find. You had to use signs and newspaper ads and Homes Magazine ads to try to find buyers because not all the buyers were looking online. But today, the world has changed. Buyers are easy to find. All the buyers for your home are right there online. The critical thing is to make sure that when your home is put in front of them, the day that it is uploaded to Zillow and Realtor.com and put in MLS, that those buyers see it, are impressed with it. They feel like, based on the photos and the ad copy, that looking at the price, wow, it looks like a fair value, so that they reach out to talk to your listing agent. And that is the biggest single mistake that listing agents are making in today's world, is they think that it should take time, weeks and months to sell a home. The buyers are there, there's plenty of buyers. The magic is to make sure that when your home goes online, they see it, they're impressed, they reach out, and then they're put through a process that causes them to make you higher offers and then even go up from there. So that's what 72 Sold is all about. Does our program work? Well, seven independent studies over the past four years, each and every one have shown that sellers who use agents trained and certified on our program are walking away, those sellers, are walking away with anywhere from 8.4 to 12% average higher prices. The last study in 2023, 9,351 sellers who used agents certified on the 72 sold program, those sellers on average, get this, they walked away with 9.2% higher prices than other homes sold in their local MLS. Our process for selling homes works. It truly results in higher prices for sellers. So in a nutshell, how does our program work? What do we do that's different than traditional real estate? Well, first, we recognized that since all buyers are right there, every buyer for your home is right there online, and they're likely to see it day one or day two when it appears online. Most serious buyers are looking every day on ZillowRealtor.com, and they have a realtor looking in MLS. So we recognized that the world has changed so much that the critical thing is that when your home appears online, the very moment it appears, to not make a mistake, to make sure that it stands out and the photos and the ad copy make the price look like a bargain, quite frankly, even if your home is priced too high. So we developed a way to take your photos, use professional photography, then have them optimized by our international photo editing partner so that they are remarkable. And then we don't use 50 photos. We don't try to show buyers your home online. That's not the point. We want to show them your home. The idea is to use fewer, better photos, to use the absolute best photos, make those photos even better and put them online so that we put your home's best foot forward and never show anything that could cause a buyer to have second thoughts about reaching out. That's the photos. Then the next thing we do is we write a very unique form of ad copy and we call it curiosity creating ad copy that has a specific call to action and the idea is not just to talk about your home but to talk about the most unique features of your home to create curiosity to say something that would make a buyer want to see your home even more and then specifically tell them we're available and to reach out to us right now we're standing by with a specific call to action we have tested photos and ad copy, different types of photos, different types of ad copy for years and found that what we do generates significantly more buyer response than what is done in traditional real estate. And then the 
Third thing we do as part of our process is when talking to you about pricing your home, we show you not just what's sold, but what your competition is. We call it competition-based pricing. And the whole concept is to make sure you understand that really what buyers care most about is not what is sold, but rather what's for sale, other homes that compete with yours, so that we price your home so that it's priced appropriately with respect to the other homes that are sitting unsold. So we call that competition-based pricing. Now, here's where the fun begins. So with our amazing photography and our curiosity creating ad copy, we will draw every buyer out. And I mean right away in the first 72 hours. So what we do is when buyers reach out, and this is what we call step four in our process, when buyers reach out, we immediately get excited. We talk about all the activity we're getting. That's social proof. We want to validate that your home is the hot new listing, that it's popular. We also mention quickly to buyers and buyer agents who reach out a couple of unique features about your home so they can really even, they want to see it more. And then, so that's step four. Now step five in our 12 step process is then we say to the buyers that you're busy and you would prefer to have all the showings and typically we'll pick a Saturday with you. It's an eight day process. We'll pick a Saturday with you. You would prefer to have all the showings in like a three hour window on a Saturday and we tell them the Saturday. We say to buyers and buyer agents when they're disappointed and they don't want to wait till then, they want to see it now. Well, we say, would you like us to call the sellers and see if they would allow you to see their home privately before it's made available to all the other buyers? So what this does, this step five, is it makes buyers and buyer agents, you know, really feel like VIPs, like they're getting the opportunity to see your home first before all the other buyers. And it also eliminates any perception that your home has been seen and rejected by a lot of buyers, which is so important. So that's step five. Now, step six in our process is when the buyers arrive, and of course, we're always there to meet them and show, show them your home personally, unlike a lot of agents in traditional real estate that don't even show up. So this is what we do now. So this is step six. And step six is when those buyers arrive, there's no sign in your yard. You see, again, we want to reinforce the fact that your home hasn't been publicly unveiled yet and it's not been seen by other buyers. So they really feel special and they feel like there's been no rejecting of your price, right? So that's step, that's step, that's step six. Now, step seven, we call it our seven step showing process. So coincidentally, step seven in our 12 step process is the seven step showing process. Now, this is critical. We not only are there to show your home, we have studied for years. What are the things we could do during a showing to cause buyers to like your home more and be more likely to make an offer and have that offer be higher. So the seven step showing process in a nutshell goes like this. When buyers and buyer agents come to the door, we first, what we call humanize the seller, that's humanize you. We'll say something about you, your family. Studies have shown over and over again, it's really kind of crazy, you know, that if a buyer feels like they kind of know you, they actually make a little bit higher offers. And we've studied that psychologically, and that's true. So we say something that you're okay with personally about you, your family, etc. So that's step one in our seven step showing process. Then really simply, we also tell the buyers why you're selling. Would you like to know why the sellers are selling? All buyers want to know. So we mentioned you're moving across town or you're moving to a larger home or a smaller home or out of town or whatever it is, something you're okay with. That's really important. That's step two in our seven step showing process, because then we want to stay step three in our process. We want to tell, say to the buyers, that's why the sellers have priced the home so attractively. Now, here's the thing. We want to say that even if your home is priced above maybe what it should be, we want to make the statement. We want to create the perception that your home is priced so attractively. And that's step three. And then we actually mention step four is what we call contrast price positioning, where we'll mention to the buyers and buyers agents standing there right after we mention why you're selling. And that's why you price the home so attractively. We then mention a couple of other properties that maybe are overpriced out there on the market. And if you've seen this one and seen this one, you'd realize what a great price this one is, this home is. So we call that, that's step four of our seven step showing process, contrast price positioning. Now step five is kind of fun. So where this all happens in like a minute, right in your entry for you. And then we'll say to the buyers and buyer agents, because we want to make sure the buyers want to see the home with us and will listen to us and that the buyer agents will allow it. So we say to the buyers and buyer agents, um, you know, when I first, saw this home, 
there were a couple things that just really I was so impressed with. May I have the pleasure of showing you those really special features? And then if you'd like to walk around on your own, that's fine. So that's step five. And what that does is get every buyer to want to see the home with us and every buyer agent to just back off and let us handle the showing, which we want to do because we know about your home. The buyer agent doesn't. So that's step five in the seven step showing process. Now step six is when we're walking the buyers through your home, of course, we're going to point out all of its really great features, but we also are going to what we what we call talk the peripherals. Now the peripherals are the things that a buyer wouldn't know that you're going to share with us. What are the special things about your home that are not visible, about the sunsets, the morning, uh, the street, your backyard, uh, the community, the neighbors, the walking trails. There are always things about a home that we want to make sure we share as we're walking the buyer through the things they wouldn't know, the things they can't see, because that does two things. It enhances your home's perception of uniqueness. And all buyers want something that's unique and special and also enhances, obviously, its perception of value. Now that's step six in our seven step showing process. And step seven is kind of fun. It's really simple. We just ask buyers kind of towards the end of that showing and walkthrough, the simple question, how does this home, you appear to like the home, how does it compare to the other homes that you've seen? And buyers will always just open up to us and tell us what they think of your home compared to what they've seen, which number one, gives us a read on whether they're likely to make an offer and how much they like your home. And number two, allows us to report to you the, what the buyers think about your home. So, so that's the seven step showing process, which by the way, coincidentally, is step seven in our 12 step process. Now I can finish this up pretty quickly after this. So step eight is really cool because remember, the buyers are there on what we call an opportunity showing. And they really, they are seeing the home privately before we do, which we hope we never have to do. That's the point, this public unveiling, because every interested buyer, we're showing your home, right? They're reaching out and we're showing your home and they're all saw it right away online. So, so step eight is simply to ask them what we call this opportunity purchase question. And that is, you know, you just mentioned you really kind of like this home. Would you like me to call the sellers to see if they would consider selling you this home prior to us making it available to all the other buyers. So it's so cool because what we're doing is we're really getting a good read. We're making the buyer feel special that you would consider entertaining an offer as opposed to you just hoping they make an offer. I got to tell you that question after we do the seven step showing process and we position this all with the opportunity purchase VIP feel, it is magical in terms of getting more buyers to make you offers and to make those offers higher prices. Okay, so that's step eight. Now step nine is we mentioned buyers right after we asked that opportunity purchase question and so many times they'll say, yeah, would you check with the sellers? This really is a very cool home. And then we get back to them and say, the seller said they would consider it, but you really need to understand, watch this now, that this price is a starting price. It's really not the typical ask price, listing price, like in traditional real estate. The sellers price this home, you know they priced it attractively, I told you why. And so they really consider it kind of a starting price where offers begin, not like their hoped for price where you should negotiate down. So make sure you consider that when you're making your offer. And the sellers are really, I tell them, sellers are really expecting actually the offer to be over that starting price. So what's so neat about this is this, that step, Imagine how that creates such a different perception in a buyer's mind. You know, when we say that, which step nine in our process, it creates such a different perception in a buyer's mind that this is just a hope for price. So that using the term starting price instead of asking your list price is step nine in our 12 step process. Now, step 10. So the offers come in. Listen to what we do. You'll love this. We developed a way then, step 10, is we call the buyer agent. Typically, it's a buyer agent who represents a buyer. We call the buyer agent before we come over and present the offer to you because we're going to want to give you more information than just the offer. We call this counteroffer intelligence. So we call the buyer agent and we say this. We say, you know, uh, Sam, 
Uh, thank you for making this. It was a pleasure seeing you today. Thank you for writing this offer on the home. Your buyers were absolutely lovely, and I can see how much they like the home. So that's step one. We thank the buyer agent. Step two is we say to the buyer agent, you know, um, you know this home is not even had its public unveiling. There's lots of buyers who are going to show up and you know this is probably going to go in a bidding war. So the sellers are not likely to take the offer you wrote, but that's step two. We just make that statement. I'm going to go in and I'm going to do the best I can to get the sellers to come back with the best counter offer possible for you because I like your buyers and I know they love this home and I'm going to tell the sellers that. So we say that and then we say, what does that need to be? You know, how high do you think you can get your buyer to go and I'll see if the sellers will agree to come back at that price so your buyers can have this home. What's so amazing is most buyer agents will just tell us how much higher their buyer will go and how much higher they think they can get them. So when we present you with offers, we can actually tell you in most cases how high the buyer will go so you don't leave a nickel on the table. Now that's step 10. Now, step 11 and 12 are real easy. So step 11 in our process, we call it the BCW formula. So now we sell your home and we sell it at a rock star price and you're smiling, but you don't want to lose it. And you also don't want to have the buyer to make unreasonable repair requests. We actually developed a process we call the BCW formula, Broken Cosmetic Worn, where we are able to use that template for buyers when they do an inspection of your home to make sure they don't make repair requests of you that are unreasonable and unfair. And we have been able through this BCW formula buyer inspection template, uh, we have been able to save our sellers thousands of dollars in repairs. So we not only get you a higher price for your home, but we also can save you on unfair repair requests. And that's step 11. And now to finish it up, step 12. Step 12 is we meet the appraiser. You know, we have been able to achieve such higher prices for our sellers that we've learned it's important that we meet the buyer's appraiser if the buyer's getting a loan and we share the information needed in order to get that appraiser to appraise your phone home at that higher price, at these higher prices we're able to achieve for you. And obviously we've been able to do that. And that's step 12 in our process. We've been able to do this because as I said, when I started over the past four years, tens of thousands, tens of thousands of homes studied and sold our sellers, on average, have been walking away with 8.4 to 12% higher prices than other homes sold in their MLS. And in 2023, the last study, 9,351 sellers who used agents certified on our program, they walked away with an average of 9.2% more for their home than other homes sold in their MLS. And I also just want to share, because I'm so proud of it, that we were recognized in 2023 in the Inc. 5000 top five fastest growing real estate firms in America. Uh, we're also won the 2023, we're in the top list of the 2023's most admired companies. And we also won something we're really proud of, and that is Innovator of the Year Award for making the biggest positive difference in our industry through our innovative home selling process. So there it is, this is Greg Haig. I wanna thank you for considering 72 Sold. And once again, I wanna tell you that our process is certainly more convenient. It's an eight day process. You will see top of the market for all the buyers that are currently in the market for your home. And you will see that in eight days. We'll identify those buyers in 72 hours. So the process is certainly more convenient. But the bottom line, our mission statement is that this program is designed from A to Z to achieve one primary goal for you. And that is a higher price for your home. Thank you for considering 72 Souls.